Kansas State's athletic program does not like to postpone until tomorrow what can be accomplished today. And in the words of athletic director Ernie Barrett, let's go. People said it couldn't be done. You no way to do it. You can't do that. And that, to me, is typical of the K-State story. They said it couldn't be done, but K-State people did it. Bill, this is really going to be something. Yeah, this is, this is the finest facility of its kind, I'm, I'm sure, in the country. This kind of event doesn't happen very often, but it seems as though recently we've been doing this much more often here at K-State, and that means we are doing something right. Today is another example of that here at Kansas State University. I think for us to really create the best fan experience and the best student athlete experience, this is a necessary step for us. This is going to have a 14,000 square foot weight room with an additional 8,000 of conditioning space. It's going to have a state of the art athletic training facility. All of our sports are going to be impacted by the volleyball and Olympic training center. Certainly it's going to be a great incentive uh, for Kansas State and we know that our university as a whole are going to take pride in this facility. We have to have more field space and this would give us an opportunity to go right into the indoor facility and get your practice in. It's going to be state of the art. We're going to have the best in the Big 12. One last thing we have to do, and that is finish this stadium. And this time we are going to build it to the sky. The South End Zone is going to do that. Obviously two new video boards, an increase and an improvement of our sound system to have surround sound within the stadium, 24 multiple new concession stands, multiple new restrooms, premium seating in terms of 10 suites, eight loads boxes, 300 club areas, gonna be tied into Bramley with new entrances on the east and west sides. In terms of the Legends Room, is now gonna be seven times bigger than it currently is. That facility, the South End Zone Project, is gonna to touch both Bramley in a very positive way. It'll tie in both the east and west side with a beautiful new concourse, so again, continue to improve our fan amenities and our fan experience in the South End Zone Project. We're clearly gonna do that. There is no leap of faith required to build this project. We have confidence and we have vision, but it's not based on any leap of faith. We now have a university that has already built the scaffolding for this project. This facility will just show another commitment that Kansas State University really does want athletic excellence. You know, I think you have to embrace who you are and, and be who you are, but I, I think we can aspire to greatness here. We've always felt that way. Anyone who's coached here or worked here has always felt that way. You're always trying to build a program to last for decades and not just build great teams. With the donor support of getting these last few things done, I think it'll continue to build on the legacy that is Kansas State football, which is a phenomenal legacy. All these facilities are gonna have a tremendous impact from our coaches' ability to recruit, our athletes' ability to prepare, to be successful, and what these are going to do is help us build champions.